But um, uh, so I still owe you a, a theorem of the day. And I actually, I want to use this opportunity to talk about um, like uh, some stuff that happens. I don't know if you saw it in, in the Vox, but like I'm somewhere in the Vox, hidden. Huh? Like um, it's in Dutch, so uh, it's about a CV of all mislooking, a CV with, with failures. So I, I just want to use this opportunity to at least tell you like what's, what, what, what the hell happened over here. So um, um, when I came to work here, I uh, heard a radio column by uh, Ronald Gippard, who was talking about um, that some uh, people in the US were making a CV with failures, like a CV with their failed attempts at getting grants, etc. And I really, really liked that. Um, and, um, but I also realized the people who are actually doing it are like full professor at Princeton and somebody at Cambridge, people who have nothing to lose and just want to show, look, I also failed, but I'm actually very successful. And um, uh, when I came here, for some reason, actually, it, it, it got to me, and I decided to just put on my web page like a, a CV with failures, like with no pretense. But also, a little, well, there were two reasons for this. One of them was for me, because I really hated uh, this whole, like, you know, selling yourself, like being narcissistic, like I'm important, I am a very important scientist. Um, and I used to be like a scientist and I also real, I, I've had some times where I also tried to sell myself and that was really, I didn't really like that. So then I put a CV with failures online because that, yeah, and then, I, then people who, who are like impressed by these kind of things, they will not take me seriously anymore. Yeah? So like, and the second reason was also like, because I want to also show to you like students that your life is not like a straight line, that there are failures in everybody's life and what you only see is the outside. And you see like you are here students and your examples here are your professors. And those are of course most of the time very successful people, at least in your field. And it's very hard to compare yourself with that. And uh, nowadays you get more and more pressure like you have many people doing like double bachelor, being ambitious, like trying to, if, if, they, if they have to uh, spend another half year studying then they are very unsatisfied with themselves just let it go, like um, you fail. And it actually, one of the reasons was also that it matches a lot with my philosophy, that if you're successful at something, like if you do an exercise and you have no problem solving it, then you haven't learned anything. It's always in your life, your, fi your failures, they make you to what you are. And what's the tendency, what everybody has is to, to be ashamed about your failures that you are ashamed about the things that go wrong. And what I noticed, like I did, I put this online, my CV with failures, yeah, not, not to get attention or whatever, but I've had no negative reaction at all, none. There may be people who, who are like queasy when they see this and like think it's strange. And uh, like, uh, because like somebody makes himself like rather vulnerable, but everybody recognizes themselves in what I wrote there. And so this is like very interesting to notice. I got no negative reactions at all. And now, like for some reason, they they yeah contacted me um, for this um, uh, yeah uh, for, for the Vox. And like I thought, yeah, what do I have to do with this? But yeah, I still talk to them because I want to get the same message across that I that I'm telling you. And then it's got even worse, like. Last Friday, I got an email of, of Radio 1, like the Dutch radio, that they wanted to talk to me. And I, I talked to a person on the phone, and I don't think they're going to approach me anymore. They had some sort of weird idea, but, uh, but <laughs> yeah, they, they, they thought that, that, that if I apply for a job, then I also add my failures or whatever. And I, that's not what I meant. Like, I just wanted to make an example or whatever. But, like, so suddenly I get, like, a, a lot of attention on this. And it's, um, on the one hand, making me very queasy, like I, I don't really feel like I want, want to be on the radio, but if they would ask me to talk about this, then I would do it because I really have a message to tell. Huh? So that's what I want to do now. I want to write down a theorem of the day that has absolutely nothing to do with what I explained to you today. <laughs> but um,
And this is this message. Be proud of your failures and they make you in what you are. And that's really my opinion. So thank you very much for today and for this quarter. So, thank you.